Hey YouTubers, thank you for checking out this video. For those of you that don't know us, I'm Trish. And I'm Carolina. We're with Just Dance, and in this series, we're gonna be going over tips to help you improve your posture, frame, your connection, technique, and musicality in the waltz. In this video, we're gonna be covering posture, frame, and musicality in the box step, the very first step of this dance. So let's get to it. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about posture. In the waltz, you, in every dance, you wanna think of maintaining your head over your shoulders, your shoulder over your ribs, and your ribs over your hips. And make sure your hips are not tilting forward or back. And it is a straight line. Yes, and yes. then next we're gonna talk about the frame. So Carolina's gonna cover the leader's portion of it, and then I will talk about the followers. Yes, so for the leader, we have our left arm in front of our bodies like this, and make sure that your elbow is lined up with your shoulder, but it's not all the way back here. Make sure it is in front of you. And your right arm is right here to the side. Make sure your elbow, this is a tip, make sure your elbow is pointing to the wall or to the side that you want to think about so that your follower fits right here offset in your position. Right, so followers, you're then going to bring your hand and connect with the leaders with your right arm slightly in front of your body. Since the leader's elbow is in line with their shoulder, our arm is in front of our shoulder. And then when we come around to this side, you will see that Carolina has her right arm in front of her body, which is giving me space. So if she was to pull that closer to her body, she'd be pulling me into her space and we would both feel crowded. So leaders, um, you know, she, as she said, your arms in front. So we're going to be able to stretch into the leader's hand offset to our left. And we're gonna make sure we take our middle finger and thumb and find the leader's V of the bicep so that we are lightly touching their arm and we're not hanging on them. So frame is very, very important because this is our means of contact and communication in the waltz. So we wanna make sure that we're maintaining this light lifted frame and we're not collapsing and bringing the arms in and we're not being heavy on our partners. So making sure that we're maintaining that throughout is very important. So the last thing we're gonna talk about today is our box step and the rhythm. So the box looks like this, we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. So notice that I was counting in threes. That's because in waltz, the timing is in three quarter time. We wanna make sure that we are dancing on every single beat. So we can't be late. Whenever you hear one, you should already be on your foot. Two, on your foot. Three, on your foot. Not slightly after, not slightly before. So again, my tip for you to make sure you're on time is to prepare by lowering on three and extending. That way you can arrive on your foot on one. So we're gonna begin by saying four, five, six, and lowering. So we have four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Making sure that we're dancing on every number within that measure. So again, a quick recap for today's video is maintaining our posture, as she was saying, head, shoulders, ribs, hips, not knees and toes, <laughs> that's what I always <laughs> think about. And then um, our frame, making sure that our arms don't get behind the body. So they're, even if the arm is, as she was saying, I'm gonna turn you this way. Even though her elbow is in line with her shoulder, it's still slightly in front of the body, making sure not to pull it back because again, you'll be pulling your partner onto you. And then same thing with uh, the right side, making sure it's in front of the body, elbow pointed to the wall, otherwise you're gonna be pulling her onto you and you also don't want your elbow to point down, which is another common mistake that we see. And then followers, making sure to stay in the leader's hand so you're stretching to your left and you're keeping your leftward stretch throughout the entire dance, that way you're offset the correct amount and you have space. And then again, making sure followers that your right arm is in front of your body. And I didn't say this, but I will now. Your elbow should be pointed down. 
Try not to lift that elbow and pull it back, which is another common mistake that I see. And then lastly, the musicality. This dance is in three quarter time. So that means we're stepping on beats one, two, three, and then repeat with four, five, six, and being consistent with that throughout by prepping before that number arrives. Those are our tips for you today. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comment section below. And as always, hit that subscribe button so you can get notified for all the videos that we post on a regular basis. We will see you soon.